Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of November 21st through the 27th of 2016. Let's talk a little bit about what's been going on and then this week to come, shall we? All right, because we are on the heels of that super moon, full moon in Taurus. Last week was likely a very eventful one. And then as the week ended, we had Neptune go direct. And you've heard me speak of it before. The time frame from that full moon to this week, which the 24th is Thanksgiving in the U.S., that you're seeing something happening that's giving you a hint of what the future could likely contain. Now, on to this week, all right? On the 21st, the sun will enter Sagittarius. Uh, for those of you out there who have been desiring an easier going energy, there you have it, you know. No longer will you have the, the deep intensity of Scorpio, which I think for too many people, there were some issues with it. On the 24th, there will be the first of three squares between Jupiter and Pluto. The second and third will be March the 30th and August the 4th of 2017. This may not be an easy energy to handle. You might wanna keep yourself in check because what tends to happen here, all right, Jupiter is a planet of expansion and it's really urging you to go for your goals and go for your dreams. Pluto is the Lord of the underworld. Hmm. You know, it gives me the chills to say it. What will people out there do to achieve what it is that they want? Sometimes that's a scary thing, okay? What is the price of success? Are you going to alienate everyone as you climb your way to the top? So, Give thought to this, you know, when you have fantastic ideas on how you want to proceed forward, make sure that you're not losing family, friends, supporters along the way, because there is an indication here that, you know, you may become too zealous with this drive for success. This is a very important transit and it lines up with, all right, what I've been talking about next year, not to get away from this week, but that total eclipse on August 21st. See how close they're falling together? The last Jupiter and Pluto square and the first total eclipse in several years. Hmm, gonna be an interesting time. That's why I keep telling everybody, you're watching it all play out, all right? And as I look at the cards, you really are at the beginning of something here, okay? It's an adventure, and sometimes that adventure seems a little bit risky, but I think you've finally reached a point where you're feeling more carefree about some of the stuff from the past that you've managed to get out of your way, and now you can look toward the future. And what I'm seeing here is that it's that future that takes place from like March to June. You can't quite see it yet, you know, it's like, that's why it feels a little risky because you're like, should I take a chance and move in this direction or not? What's there when I get there? Last week's full moon in Taurus brought in what I feel is a major turning point for many people. So as you're desiring to move forward, when will the next turning point be? I say March, okay? We will have eclipses in February. And March, April, we will have a Venus retrograde. There's a lot going on, but it's taking you like up to there where you're kind of like, okay, I'm game, I'll try it, you know? And you're gonna proceed at this point sort of unwittingly toward whatever it is that March holds. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised when you get there. And then that kind of plays out over March, April, May, June. I know this is supposed to be weekly, but this is what's here in front of me. And I really want to relate it because I think a lot of people think that things are stuck and they're never going to move. You know, that's not always the case. It feels like it's kind of like that way up until April. All right. I think it's, uh, I think it's April 15th that Venus goes direct. All right. And what I've been telling people with regard to any kind of relationship things, you don't have that much time to commit now to something. Wait until May 18th. And then if it's still there, whether it's a person, a place, a thing, go for it, okay? 
So holding off until that passes is probably in your best interest. So we're getting ahead here a little bit, but I think it's important to know that because we're kind of just, you know, in this naive state right now where we know the future is coming, but we're like, okay, I'm ready. Why can't we do it now? Then there's that hint, that hint of whatever it is that's out there. And for so many of you, I feel like it's the opportunity for love. I don't think, here again, I think it doesn't really come around until like April, May, June. And you know, that waiting for the Venus thing to pass, which is in your best interest, okay? But the hint is now, you're going to see signs that, wow, is that actually possible? Like, I waited forever for this person to get their act together, or I waited forever for this type of romance to come into my life to meet someone. Yeah, I know I'm going to get messages about this. Cecilia, you're actually talking about romance. But, you know, there's also, I don't think the timing is right yet. Okay? But like I said, you get the hints of what is to come. And it is probably, uh, if it's not by the 24th, it's definitely by you know, before the month ends, but I kind of feel like it's this week. There's something happening. All right. It's almost feels, it's not an out of the blue thing, but it's like, hmm, what do you do? How honest are you going to be? Like, you may have to say something because you don't even know if this is in alignment with your goals. All right. You're, you're trying to be guided. There's big life decisions involved in this. What, what if there is suddenly someone and you're like, oh my God, well, here I am over here headed toward my future. And then you come along and you disrupt my thought process. Now I have to think, oh, I, I don't know what to think. That's what it feels like. Okay. And when I look at this, I do believe that one of the reasons that the timing is not right, because whether it's a love relationship a work relationship or anything, I think that, and I've spoken about it so many times that your identity is at stake, okay? If you keep going from one situation to the next, never allowing yourself to feel like you. And you know what I mean, okay? Because how long has this been going on for many of you since like 2012, where you just ceased to be who you were and the universe drug you kicking and screaming into this other life. And now you're like, all right, do I go forward and become a new me? Yes, you do. Do I go back to the old me? No, you can't. So it's that type of a thing. I think the time is being given to allow you to get in touch with your goals. Because I think if a particular situation came along right at the moment, it would kind of, um, you know, like blindside you in such a way that it would deter you from the goals that you really need to reach. So this is in and of itself a good thing because I think it makes you stronger later on down the line. This is a very interesting week. Uh, there's no two ways about it. All right. There is some form of a victory here. It, it could be within the love realm, uh, you know, or whatever it is that is emotional for you. And it's showing it up as abundance, which, you know, here in the U.S., abundance is very, very typical of Thanksgiving. So it's what I'm saying. I kind of feel like whatever it is, this information is coming your way by the 24th. Interesting. Okay. A lot of knowledge involved here. Knowledge for the creation of change and your vision of what it is you want to do. Now, it's showing it up as a little bit of a challenge because the challenge comes to your identity. This is what I'm talking about. Do you just drop everything that you've accomplished so far and forget about who it is that you, you know, you're working on being just to see if something's going to work out with somebody that you hope to have something with and all of a sudden they're there? I think not. I think that it's very important to have that independence to be able to stand on your own two feet. This is some powerful stuff. This is a very, I want to say a very karmic week, okay? Very karmic week. You know, you have so much love and compassion to give to others. This could be you. I, I've been talking about this, you know, recently with the season, you know, going forth and doing good deeds, that kind of thing where people look up to you for your kindness and compassion. And at this point, the world 
cannot have enough of it, okay? Spread your sunshine, you know, be fair. It's very hard right now to be impartial because there is a huge divide. You know, you have ignorance and hate on one side and you have love and confusion on the other. And finding a way to balance that out has not been easy. It's going to take time is what it's showing here, but it shows me that whichever side you're on, you have the strength to get there. Love wins, by the way, okay? Love definitely wins, not, not the hatred and the ignorance. So, you know, what is it that you wish to create? All right, this is interesting. There's more to it, all right? It's almost like saying, I don't want to shut the door on this opportunity, but I, I kind of like, I'm not ready for it. Part of me is ready for it. I don't know whether I want to push the door open or I want to, you know, keep it closed for a little while longer because you're working on that security of self and how you pull yourself together. This, this is a huge cycle, all right? Like it's indicated back in the beginning and this cycle, I'm telling you, it's taking you to March. Things are changing, but you're ending for sure, an old way of life. There, there's, oh boy, that word, patience attached with this, all right? Because you don't get what you want today. You don't get it this week. But you're like, okay, let's close that door. Let's open this door. Um, I I'm ready. What do I do next? But then you may find yourself worrying about it, okay? It's not all, the thing of it is here, is it's not all under your control, all right? So whatever it's about, that hint that came in, you're trying to process it, trying to be patient with it, but at the same time, you're worried, is it real? Is it gonna last? It, 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 do I deserve it? Is it actually gonna come my way finally? I say the answer is yes. I, see, I think you start seeing hints, you know, as things happen, all right, coming up. But this week is one that I think it just kind of leaves you dumbfounded. Like last week, this week, the events of the full moon, there is some form of a victory in here for you over the hard times. And we're talking about like five years worth, not just, you know, a few days or something where you, you had a rough time with just the full moon because there's connections here that cannot be denied and something is happening. That's where the victory lies. If, if that other individual or someone it speaks up, says something to you, there's something going on. Now, does this mean that everybody out there is suddenly going to find love, have that hint of love? I doubt it. I mean, many of you are already in, you know, an established relationship. So no, it's not that way. But I feel like I'm talking really fast today, aren't I? This is just spewing out of me too, too quickly here. But there is this, I think you're really grounded now. Like before... If you encountered a situation, you probably didn't respond to it the way you should have. You know, it's almost like that, that giddiness in love where you do all the wrong things kind of thing. But now with being more grounded, you don't overreact when things happen, whatever this is about. Okay. There is an opportunity that's coming your way. And you're going to begin making plans for it. I don't think it happens for everyone at the same time, but it involves, uh, oh my goodness, it just involves so much. There's a huge manifestation coming your way. I don't think it's this week, but where are we at? This is November. I think maybe even by January, you're starting to go, okay, 2017 is getting off on the right foot. So you see, it's the things you're putting in place this week and how you feel about them like allowing yourself to go on this adventure there are too many of you out there who are still saying i hope so it doesn't come with hope you really sometimes have to have that faith in the universe and the trust to take that giant leap toward the future because it is leading you somewhere that is totally undeniable here you know are there painful things from the past i think so but you're you're being asked to choose a road and which way do you want to go? So a lot is happening and I'm telling you, 
when we reach the equinox in March, you're going to see it start going forward. It's here. But this, this week is the week that shows you. Uh, I don't know how else to put it. That's what it's about. That's why it's showing things and highlighting things that start happening. So you have the equinox in March. You have the solstice in June. And it goes March, April, May, June. The progress that's being made on some front in your life. And whatever it is, it's showing it up as emotional for you. There, There is so much to celebrate. And also see celebrating, and this is important, um, the celebration of ethnicity. I hope my friend Katie Stewart from 78 Tarot is listening today because she has started working on a line, which I think she should just accumulate and put out of beautiful angels, ethnic angels to help promote love and diversity and have people have a greater understanding about cultures. So I'm seeing this here. So I know for her, this is going to be an excellent project. And believe me, when when I have her nailed down to do it, she has too much going on. I will be sharing it because you'll be absolutely amazed. And I told her if she does it right, she could be as big as Hello Kitty without the cafe. Now, I know I digress sometimes, but it's that type of a, a feeling of like, what is beginning now? You just have to be willing to go on the adventure. If you're still clinging to some old outmoded idea, you're going to miss the boat. Okay, and the boat is taking you to June, and June is where it really starts getting good. Now, if you notice, when we've been doing these weeklies and monthlies and everything, our seasonal changes have been very important, and we've seen things turn every time we get to one. So it's quite interesting. Don't allow yourself to hold yourself back, okay? Be ready for the adventure. You know, the things that were losses, release them. Turn your focus to what is positive, okay? Cultivate the positive. I don't even know how else to explain it. You know, confusion, no more. It's like, you know, how can I put this? Because I don't know what this situation is, but it's like doing the right thing. Where you maybe you didn't see it coming, like, okay. But you know what it is that you need to do. So you see, you figure it all out along the way. It's not showing anything as some crazy surprise. And a lot of this has to do with choices and relationships. And you're freeing yourself from, oh, so much. So, so much. I could go on and on here. But, you know, it's obvious that this week holds something that is kind of like, and it's showing it as, the key. The key to the, the adventure that is coming. And you just need to be willing to take that chance. So I want to thank you all for listening. And I'll see you here again next week. Take care.